What must be done to address the problem of climate change? The simple answer is that people have to stop emitting CO2 and other greenhouse gases. This must be the responsibility of those who have historically have produced and emitted the most of these gases. At the same time, it is also very important to protect and restore forests and other ecosystems that absorb and store CO2. This is where we, as indigenous peoples, are already playing a key role since we are experts in protecting and caring for our lands and territories. It is well documented that deforestation rates in lands owned and managed by indigenous peoples generally is much lower than lands not owned and managed by them. For years, indigenous peoples' representatives have been saying to world leaders in national and international climate meetings that their ability to protect nature should be recognized as one of the solutions to climate change that states must recognize their rights to their customary lands and territories so that indigenous peoples can continue protecting and caring for them. Despite this, only a very small part of the funding to address climate change goes to indigenous peoples. Instead, what we are now seeing is that many of those historically responsible for climate change are promoting carbon markets, which they claim are a solution to the climate crisis. They say that these markets will help stakeholders work together in cutting overall global greenhouse gas emissions. So what are carbon markets? These markets do not exist physically in a specific place, like markets where people buy and sell food. The buyers and sellers in a carbon market meet on the internet and will probably never meet face to face. And what is being sold is not something we can touch. Indigenous peoples generally have very little information and knowledge about what is going on in this market space. If we cannot touch it, what do they sell in these carbon markets? Carbon credits are sold in carbon markets. A carbon credit is claimed to represent one ton of CO2 that has been removed from or prevented from being released into the atmosphere. A carbon credit can also represent an equivalent amount of other greenhouse gases, which is referred to as CO2e. So, when someone buys a carbon credit, they buy someone's promise that they are keeping or removing a ton of CO2 out of the atmosphere. Let's talk more about carbon markets. There are two general types, compliance markets and voluntary markets. Compliance markets are regulated by international and national government bodies that decide how much CO2 certain industries are allowed to emit. Polluters are given a cap or limit on how much CO2 they can release. If they release more than they are allowed, then they must buy carbon credits to compensate. If they release less, they can trade the balance in the carbon market. Those in favor of these markets say they will force businesses to reduce their CO2 emissions since the limit is reduced each year. In voluntary markets, those that buy carbon credits do not do so because they have to, but because they choose to do so for many reasons. Often they have made promises and public announcements about no longer being responsible for greenhouse gas emissions. They, often companies, call this going net zero and buy carbon credits with the idea that emissions they do release can be balanced out by emissions not released or drawn out of the atmosphere by someone else. This is referred to as offsetting and is an aspect of carbon markets that is causing a lot of disagreement, debate and concern, which we will come back to later. Why are we talking about this? How is it relevant to us? One of the reasons we are talking about this 
is that many of the carbon credits that are sold, especially in voluntary markets, but also sometimes in compliance markets, are created in ways that negatively affect the territories and rights of indigenous peoples. Another reason we are talking about this is that some of you have asked if these markets could mean something positive for our community and if we should decide to engage 